if we are given opportunities it is possible for us to realize our dreams since i was a kid i've always found passion in you know, playing games and as a kid i was fascinated by playing uh, i mean i used to spend lots of time playing games but as i grew up i found that, and i'm also an artist so as i grew up i found myself wanting to build these games and finding a way to express myself and whatever creativity i, I had inside myself if i had to pursue something other than engineering that would most certainly have would be to develop games and thankfully that's what i'm pursuing right now because as a part of next tech lab here uh, as a few of my colleagues have mentioned uh, game development is one of the most uh, preferred fields in the lab here and that's what i'm pursuing right now for me art is a form of expression as a kid i used to draw a lot and i'm good in drawing so i used to draw out whatever i used to find interest in as a kid uh, animes and cartoons were my interest then i switched over to uh, uh, like some of my favorite movie stars and wrestlers and all those things but after coming to the university i found that i can make much more of my art skills than just limiting it to paper for example after coming here i learned the skill Uh, to develop games and now how i use it is whatever things i see in animes and in the novels that i read i try to reimagine them in the form of my games for example i read something let's say oh, you must have heard of naruto it's a it's an it's a japanese anime now what if i wanted to build something like that or implement something like that that's possible in the form of a video game so that's what uh, i consider to be an art so just like paint brush is a tool through which you can express yourself I consider game development to be a tool through which I express whatever I feel. For example, if I want to build something like Naruto, I develop something of that sort and basically uh, build games like that. Before I came to the university, I didn't have much idea about how to build games. It was my passion, but I thought that uh, since I'm in India, there's not much scope for me, and I would hit I would hit the ceiling very soon. But after coming to the lab, it broadened my horizon. I realized that okay. So there are things in India that you can do because in India game development is seen as something that is really looked down on right now. Because the moment I uh, say I want to make games, my parents always say, "Why don't you make better use of your time? Do some uh, I don't know civil engineering or, or mechanical engineering." But after coming to Next Tech Lab, after listening to all the founders of the Next Tech Lab, I realized that even in a, a university like this, even in a country like this, if we are given opportunities, it is possible for us to realize our dreams and. So after coming to the university I started making smaller games because I had a bit of coding background so I really had to just direct that coding background to developing games First game that I made was a really simple one it's a roller ball game so press the arrow keys and the ball rolls around and collects uh, small collectibles but as I moved forward I went on to build bigger games uh, the most notable one of them being uh, the one that uh, won a competition called Indian Game Development Challenge last year so that was basically uh, a two month long product athon where uh, there were com- contestants from all over india and we ha- basically had to compete uh, with each other for two months and develop a game and luckily i had a very good team and we built a game that defeated all the other teams and uh, as a con- as a reward we were invited over to slush in finland which some of my colleagues already told you about so that was one of the most notable games that i built and moving ahead uh, i was inspired from that and so i built more games after that and i was invited to uh, one of the biggest game development conferences in the world called game developers conference it was in san francisco so that was one of the places where i got to demonstrate some of my other games uh, as a representative of one of the uh, biggest game engines in the world called unity like this one so These are some of the most notable games that I've built and I'm also currently building a game right now with a uh, huge team. This is a really ambitious game that we really want to uh, be like something that really expresses everything that we have built up until now. <laughs>